Okay, welcome back to Let's Fiddle with the Military. So, I went ahead and gave our guys the order to have wood bolts as well as bone bolts for training. Now, I think we only really have one archer type person, and we don't have any archery targets yet. So that's not a big deal here. But we're done with that. And I wish I... Yep, call the come militia commander. Militia commander, mace dwarf, wrestler, sword dwarf. One, two, three, four again. So I don't quite understand uh, why are I... Why our extra guys, like Albuck over there, is not joining in on the fighting fun. One, two, three, four. So back to the four. Which I don't quite get. Let's look at the military. Walls are going up while I'm doing this. Most of the time. Uh, take a quick look over here. 66 drink. Food stores are going up a little bit. That. Plump helmets are growing. So let's look at the squad. That's not one I wanted to dress. We need to look at squats. S. Tongues of pedaling. Okay. A. Schedule active training. Looks like we are out of seeds there. Um. So let's go over here and check the room. Tongues of Paddling. The Oven of Chicken. I like that name. <laughs> they're training, they're sleeping, storing equipment, doing all that happiness. And now it's gone to break week anyway. The weather has cleared, and Devil Man doesn't have any cave wheat seeds. Okay, it's the first of timber. Now, here's to hoping that when the next training month comes, all six of my guys will become military. That's the hope, anyway. So, let's take a look here. What is everybody doing? Eating and drinking. Generally making merry. Oh, uh -huh. nope, that's the same guy again. The militia commander, Sinister, and Aban. Aban, how do you pronounce his name? So, lots of hauling going on, lots of seeds going in the suck piles there. Um, I wonder why those aren't in barrels. have some empty barrels. Need to get a move on with the barrel making. Or at least the putting of things inside the barrels. Grabbing of stones. Walls are going up. Slowly but surely we are moving along. So yeah, it's quite warm where I am now. Spent earlier part of the day today weeding my garden. It rained all last night. I had clovers coming up everywhere. And normally I love clovers. I have nothing against them. Happy Irish good luck charms and all that. But when they're growing in the middle of a very thick, dense patch of onions becomes very annoying try to reach in there and pull them out. So, I hope everyone's having a good time doing whatever they are doing. I've been spending a lot of my time working on that garden that I was talking about. Playing quite a bit of Worm. Worm is a very, I don't know, 
I wouldn't say it's relaxing anymore. <laughs> We've had lots of stress dealing with group mentalities and one person wants to do this, another person wants to do that. Too many chiefs hoping that the whole group will do this thing together. And I don't know. We're working around it. We're still building together and hopefully we're having fun. And if you haven't checked out Basher's streams about it yet, and his general YouTube channel, you really should check it out. Uh, there's a link to his channel over on my channel page. And he does some good stuff. He's starting up a Let's Play of Oblivion, fully modded. Which looks very cool. So, lots of stones going in the wall there. One more wall finished. Hopefully. Getting a pretty steady 50 FPS on all this. Excuse me. Yawn a little bit there. One, two, three. Dodging again. Hmm. Well, not quite sure what I'm doing wrong with the military, but they are training, at least some of them. And hopefully that won't come back to nip me in the bud. You know, the issue may be because I added those new migrants into the tongs and didn't set it up from the start. That would be rather hmm, disappointing. But that's how it is. If they don't start training up next month, I may think about starting up a new a new squad for the newbies. Have them train separately. Walls are going up nicely. Our new helper coming up right there. What is that? It's a potash maker. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Anyway, walls are going up nicely. We have some idlers. Not a whole lot. Mostly our diggers. So I am going to go ahead and look at getting a channel made. First channel over the area. It will be right over there like that. Just a small little... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and channel like that. Give us an extra area over there. And then we need to channel... Ooh. That's not good. I guess we'll have to do it here. Like that. And that way we won't have any issues. And off I go to dig in the mud as it's raining out. It cannot be a pleasant job slinging soil around with a shovel. Assuming dwarves even use shovels, since there are no shovels in the game, they just dig with their bare hands. I guess that's not true, they use a pick. So yeah, how'd you like to slodge mud around using a pickaxe? So, the weather has cleared. Almost done. They're getting quite quick at doing soil. So once they've dug that out, I need to go... Ooh, and Relic has been possessed. Well now, before we deal with that, let's really hope he doesn't want shells. Let's all do a little dance and pray. Cross our fingers. No shells. We want no shells. What's I doing? Yes, removing the stairs. I want to remove the ramps. 
leading out. So that if we lift up our drawbridge here, anything that's stuck in there Now, I need to think about this, because if we lift up the drawbridge and something does fall down in there, and the ramps are up that way, they're going to come into the forge. So if I'm thinking about this constructively, I need to make it go the other way, and like that. So, either way, we will deal with our possessed woodworker. Hopefully he just wants wood, not some crazy shells, next time. Until then.